underfoot, and spear in hand, poised to kill a beautiful creature, respected and loved for its sacrifice to a society flourishing, with children playing and laughing in unfiltered sunlight. Father sat by the fire, and two laughed, rejoiced in their beautiful existence, soon to grow and know no wooden bounds or primitive sticks. Once we knew the importance of family, proud to share a name with our mothers and fathers, to make a fire to warm more beautiful creatures, and cook stubborn creatures, who kept us from such warm aflame, who made us stay out in biting chill and frost, shivering only to shoot an arrow through its heart. But a beast, an hour is a lot to waste for such beautiful creatures. Once we knew the language of beauty, so elegantly wafting from door to door, a free bird in the harnessed dawn of kings and queens, harsh rulers who pound writers with golden ringed fists. And we could create worlds with a phrase, people in words, skylines in seconds. Ink spilled was not wasted, arcs and spires, black and white, fruit bowls and freedom to be expected. Praise thee, O beautiful creatures, beasts bade our cumbersome burdens. Once we heard old timey blues, jazz songs, Bessie Smith, crackling voices on radios, working from dawn till dusk, suspenders clamped firmly on high, long pants stained with oil and work. We sang gay tunes, and us beautiful creatures fed beasts from bowls, carried them on leashes, and yanked chains, made noise if they stepped out of line. We smoked long, putrid cigars in our Model Ts, and took a walk from home to work, to a beautiful family, happy faces, so gleeful, to see their beautiful daddy home from work. Such beautiful creatures we are. Now we wake to loud alarm clocks telling us, rise, you beautiful creature, to sit in cramped offices and stare at your beautiful children. Hark, hear your codes and return to your rest, and I will wake you again. So we shall. We rise and unlock our doors to let out our stupid loud dog that barks in protection of its beautiful master, who fears long claws sharp teeth that desire to make teeth meet bone. Now we cry for our friend whose heart has paused its work, so tired, so tired of fueling its beautiful beast's work and life. Can it be called a life at all? And we mourn the loss of a beautiful creature who burned down towns, tore down forests and mountains <coughs> at the glimpse of a gold coin. Away, you beast, you are pestering me. Can't you see? I wish not to play fetch with you. You bite. I wish not to pet you. You scratch. Away, you foul beast, so we may mourn our lost beautiful creature. Woo!